On the western shore of Lake Nasser behind the high dam, the Abu Simbel Temple stands tall and proud. The third pharaoh of the 19th Egyptian dynasty, King Ramses II, who built in 1250 BC. The temple consists of two important parts, the Great Temple of Abu Simbel and the Small Temple of Abu Simbel. Other Egyptian in different other eras, the temple was built during the reign of Ramesses II to celebrate his victory in the Battle of Kadesh, and its construction continued for 20 years. 200 years after the discovery of the most important temple in Egypt and in the Egyptian civilization, the phenomenon of the sun perpendicular to the Abu Simbel temple, the phenomenon begins when the sun's rays enter from the front corridor of the temple of Ramses II for a distance of 200 meters until it reaches a platform on which the statue of Ramses II is located, and next to it is a statue of the god of the shepherd whale and the god Amun and perpendicular to them and next to them is the god Ptah, but the sun does not not come upon him because he is called by the pharaohs the god of darkness. The phenomenon of the sun perpendicular to the great temple occurs twice a year, on October 21st and the 21st of February. The sun perpendicular to the statue of the god Ramesses II in these two days, especially the day he was born and the day he was crowned king of the country and the time of building the high dam in the year 1960. The temple was threatened with sinking, and international fundraising campaigns began to save the Abu Simbel temple from sinking underwater. UNESCO moved the temple at a cost of $40 million to a place near higher than the river level, and cut the whole site into large blocks. Indeed, the rescue process began, and actually began to dismantle the pieces and reinstall them in the second site. This process was one of the most complex operations, and it was classified as one of the greatest works in archaeological engineering in history. He said that Egypt is a country of wonders, because even after moving the temple from its place, the sun perpendicular to the temple of Ramses II still happens, but with the different days on October 22 and February 22 great, Egypt, and every statue in you has a greater and greater story. Egyptian Temple Abu Simbel is an archaeological site located on the western bank of Lake Nasser, about 290 kilometers southwest of Aswan. It is one of the Nubia archaeological sites included in the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites, which starts from the direction of the flow of the river from Abu Simbel to Philae near Aswan. Quick info Abu Simbel, date of establishment The double temples were originally carved from the mountains during the reign of King Ramses II in the 13th century BC, as a permanent monument to him and Queen Nefertari, to celebrate his victory in the Battle of Kadesh. However, in the 1960s the facility complex was completely moved to another location, on an artificial hill made of a dome structure, above the Aswan High Dam Reservoir. It was necessary to move the temples to avoid being drowned during the construction of Lake Nasser, and the huge artificial water reservoir was formed after the construction of the High Dam in Aswan on the Nile River. Abu Simbel is still one of the best tourist attractions in Egypt. Building during his reign, Ramesses II embarked on an extensive building program throughout Egypt and Nubia, which Egypt controlled. Nubia was important to the Egyptians because it was a source of gold and many other valuable trade goods. Therefore, Ramesses built many great temples there in order to dazzle the Nubians with the power of Egypt and their destiny. The most famous temples are the rock-cut temples near the modern village of Abu Simbel, at the second waterfall of the Nile, on the border between Upper and Lower Nubia. There are two temples, the Great Temple, dedicated to Ramses II himself, and the small temple dedicated to his main wife, Queen Nefertari. The construction of the temple complex began around 1264 BC and lasted about 20 years until 1244 BC. It was known as the Temple of Ramesses, beloved by Amun. Rediscovery with the passage of time, the temples were abandoned and thus became covered with sand. Then, during the 6th century BC, the statues of the main temple were covered with sand up to their knees. The temple was forgotten until 1813, when the Swiss orientalist J. L. Burkhardt found the cornice of the main temple. Burkhardt spoke about this discovery with his Italian counterpart, explorer Giovanni Bellanzi, who traveled together to the site, but were unable to excavate an entrance to the temple. 
Belanzi returned in 1817, but this time succeeded in his attempt to enter the compound. And he took every valuable thing he could carry with him. Tour guides at the site associate the name with the legend of Abu Simbel, which is that there was a young local boy who led the explorers to the site again at an early date to the buried temple, which he saw from time to time in the shifting sands. Eventually, they named the temple Abu Simbel after its name. Move the complex a model shows the original schedule, and the current location of the temple, relative to the water level. An international fundraising campaign to save the monument from drowning began in 1959. The ancient southern ruins of this human civilization were under threat from the rising waters of the Nile, which were about to result from the construction of the Aswan High Dam and began to save the temples of Abu Simbel in 1964, and this process cost $40 million. Between 1964 to 1968, the whole site was cut into large blocks, up to 30 tons and an average of 20 tons, which were dismantled and reinstalled in a new location at an altitude of 65 meters and 200 meters above the river level, and it is considered by many to be one of the greatest works of archaeological engineering. Dot. Some structures were rescued from under the waters of Lake Nasser. Today, thousands of tourists visit the temples due every day. Convoys of buses and escorted cars leave twice a day from Aswan, the nearest city. Many visitors arrive by plane at the airport, which was built specifically for the temple complex. Society consists of two temples. The largest is dedicated to three gods of Egypt at that time, namely Ra Harakti, Ptah, and Amun, and four large statues of Ramesses II stand out in the façade. The smaller temple is dedicated to the god Hathor, who was personified by Nefertari, the wife of Ramesses most beloved to his heart. The Great Hulk close-up of one of the colossal statues of Ramesses II, wearing the double crown of Upper and Lower Egypt The construction of the Great Temple at Abu Simbel took nearly 20 years, and it was completed in about 24 years of the reign of Ramesses the Great, which is equivalent to 1265 BC. It was dedicated to the god Amun, Ra Harakti, Ptah, as well as to Ramesses. It is generally considered the finest and most beautiful of the temples commissioned during the reign of Ramesses II, and one of the most beautiful in Egypt. Four colossal statues of the pharaoh, which reach a length of 20 meters, with the double crown of Atef of Upper and Lower Egypt decorate the façade of the temple, which is 35 meters wide, and is crowned with a cornice with 22 baboons, and sun worshippers surround the entrance. The huge statues were carved directly from the rocks where the temple was located before it was moved. All the statues represent Ramesses II seated on a throne and wearing the double crown of Upper and Lower Egypt. The statue to the left of the entrance was damaged in an earthquake, leaving only the lower part of the statue intact. The head and torso can be seen under the feet of the statue. Next to the legs of the colossal statue, there are other statues no higher than the knees of the pharaoh. This depicts Nefertari, the main wife of Ramesses, and the queen mother, Mutai, and he has two sons, Amun Har Kepshef, Ramesses, and he has six daughters, Bintanath, Bakhmut, Nefertari, Meritamen, Neptawi, and Astanafert. The entrance itself is crowned with a relief in low relief, representing two figures of the king worshipping the falcon-headed patron of Harakti, whose statue stands in a large niche. And this god holds in his right hand the hieroglyphic contract, the art of the Egyptian pharaonic writing used and the feather, while he holds in his left hand Ma'a, the goddess of truth and justice, and this is no less than a flowering plant of the giant Ramesses II and the name of the throne used is Mayat Re. On top of the façade of the building is crowned with a row of 22 baboons with their arms raised in the air, supposedly worshipping the rising sun. Another notable feature of the building's façade is a plaque recording Ramesses' marriage to the daughter of King Hatzili III, which led to peace between Egypt and Hittites.